Welcome back. We pick up the men's freestyle competition. They've completed one period without a score. That's Tolly Thompson in the red singlet and Steve Mako in the blue singlet. They went scoreless after one period. There's the toss, Randy, and let's see how this clinch is going to go. Tolly Thompson gets the toss and gets to pick up Steve Mako's leg, and he runs Steve Mako for the out-of-bounds line. Tolly Thompson wins that first period one to nothing, driving Steve Mako out of bounds. Well, that was really an advantage to Thompson. I'll tell you, he had the leg, and we don't see it a whole lot. It's one of the new rules this year. He had a good clinch on that leg, and then he just motored and pulled his way to the out-of-bound area. It's a big, strong guy. It's tough. He gets that forward momentum started. And with one leg, it's hard to stop a guy from driving you out of bounds. Looks like he's moving a car that won't start. <laughs> I think both guys need to be more aggressive. They, they weren't very aggressive in trying to put points on the boarding and leave it to a coin toss in that situation. And I think that's one of the things in the rules. If you can avoid that coin toss and that clinch, you want to do that. And I think when we hit the world stage, Randy, we're not going to see a whole lot determined on the out-of-bounds area. We're going to see guys who score and score in the middle of the mat. Both guys, again, working the collar tied. Mako digging for that right side underhook. Now Mako in on the body. Mako on the body, unable to do anything though because of the nice defense by Tarly Thompson in the red single. He will Mako's, not give anything to Steve Mako. Mako's definitely turned up the pace in this round. He doesn't want to have another round go to the clinch like that last one. There's a danger here. Tarly running him out of bounds. He recovers nicely. He's really putting a lot of pressure on Tolly Thompson here. Nice front headlock by Steve Mako. Tolly drags out. There's Mako in on the body again, trying to run Tolly out of bounds. There's the throw by Tolly Thompson. A nice lateral drop. And you're going to say that Tolly stepped out of bounds before he countered the takedown attempt by Steve Mako. So the point goes to Mako. And I would expect that we're going to look at the film on this one. I would expect that we're going to look at the film on this one as well. Here's the replay. Mako driving. Tolly did step out of bounds before he threw right there from that camera angle. So the point should go to Mako. And he was out just by a minute, you know, just right there. Foot goes out of bounds. There's the throw. But the point has already been scored when he steps out of bounds. Now, if he had started that just perhaps six inches inside, there wouldn't be much of a question on that. But oh. now when you step out of bounds with the new rules this year, you step out, your opponent gets a point. That's exactly right. So one point to Mako, the review goes Mako's way. There's still a minute left in this period, so the period's not over by any stretch of the imagination. Nor is this bout. Tolly Thompson having won the first period, now trails here in the second period as we've gone under one minute. Tolly's really got to turn it up now. He's got to find a way to score that last point. And that will put him in the driver's seat to finish this match out and win. Mako needs to hang on to this one point lead to tie this up one period apiece. Well, actually, Randy, if Tolly gets the point, Ooh. he would get the last point scored and would win this period and thus win the match. Oh, that's true. Paco almost gave the point up there. Nice fight in the hands, good college cut away and faced him. Seemed like he got his head about him real quick and said, I can't do this, but here comes oh. the pressure. And there it three is. Three-point takedown by Tolly Thompson. And Paco's going to give up the fall. And he pinned it. He pinned him. Tolly Thompson pins Steven Mucko to win the 120 kilo national championship. What a move by Tolly nice, Thompson. Nice technique, nice counter. Mucko had him. The front headlock, maybe a little over aggressive, put himself in danger. Tolly Thompson countered nice with the double leg, takes him right to his back and secures the fall to win the match. Here's the double leg, drives through him, puts Mucko right on his back. I think at that point, Mako knew was academic. He well, he, moved, he moves up high and he finishes the move. And you see the look on the face of Tolly Thompson, very satisfied with his effort at winning a national champion. Your national champion at 120 kilograms, Tolly Thompson. Joe Miller is standing by with our winner, Tolly Thompson.
standing by now with the champion of the big boys, Tully Thompson. What a flair for the dramatic there, a pin to end it uh, and win the U.S. Open. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't think I probably pinned him. I think he seen the one point and he probably just went to go down, you know, and so I, I no, my, to my recollect, you know, is a win, not a pin. Randy, a thundering finish to today's competition. A great double leg counter by Tolly Thompson and Steve Mako's front headlock attempt. Uh, and he's in the driver's seat now for Budapest for, for the world team trials this summer. Well, he comes around and works for the fall and comes away with a national title. And one of uh, a couple now for him. So I uh, look forward to seeing him. We had some great matches tonight. Some young